Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is Roblox Studio. If you want to find out how I kept the Dominus, stay tuned. All right, so there's been a lot of... Uh a lot of this entire thing about the uh, Ready Player One going on and everything. So, real quick, I don't actually have the Dominus, okay? I, I don't own it. I didn't win the thing. I, I wasn't first. I've got the wings. Absolutely, I've got the wings. But that's not what this is about. This is about studio and scripting and awesomeness. And if you want to see how to do that and how to put the Dominus into your game, this is how to do it. So inside here, um, I've got a little script, and I do apologize, I have to flip back and forth because uh, Studio doesn't capture the same way as other windows do. Like this one, little window in the middle, if I try and switch over to script, you guys still see that window. I actually have to cut it like that. Now you can see the scripts. So I will zoom in real quick, just like that, and whenever I need to switch back over, I'll just cut it like that. We'll go right back into it. Just like that. Good deal. Okay. <laughs> so, um, how did I get the Dominus? Well, um, I actually went out and found um, the person that got it, which was Roku. Huge shout out to you, Roku. R-O-C-R-O-C-U. And it's R-Zero-C-U. If you go and look inside his inventory, it shows that he has the Dominus. If you look up in the URL... Of the um, of the address bar, where up where it says his thing, click on the Dominus. It goes to the object, and then inside the address bar, there's a little asset ID tag. It's it's a, a set of numbers, and what I did is I used that set of numbers right over here uh, in my script. Boom. All right. So the number was one four eight three seven two zero four zero nine. So. There's a couple of ways that you can do this. First off, you can just drop it into the game and then play the game. And then when you're inside the game, you go over to the right-hand side where your workspace is, and you can copy the thing out, whatever that thing is. My golden headphones, if you wanted to use them inside your own game, as long as you have their asset ID, you can absolutely do that. So um, hit F5. Uh, I've got to do the switch thing again. Studio. Cut. Just like that. Okay, so... Uh, oh, looks like there was an error. What what error happened? Error. Error. All right, stop. Hold on. Hold on. Switch back over. Uh, cut. There we go. Okay. What's going on here? Oh, that's why. There we go. Uh, asset. And then I think this is supposed to be a string. So we're going to put quotations right like that. Play. Try that again. There it was. Oh, oh I saw it. It fell through the earth. It fell through, and yeah, it's gone. Okay, if something does fall through the earth, it's going. Yeah, it's going down. So let's hit stop again. <clears throat> oh, did you? You didn't even see that play. <laughs> uh, sorry. Here we go. Cut. Here, I will stop it and play it real quick. And there, there it was over over there, like right here a little bit. It just fell through the earth because there's nothing there. Okay, cool. Um, let's hit stop and cut the studio back over. Cut. There we are. So inside the script, I had this number, uh, and I dropped it into the workspace. Uh, and right here, um, game colon get service uh, parentheses. Whoops. Control Z. Um, insert service colon load asset your asset number, which is up here dot parent equals game dot workspace so whatever the object is it will throw it into a model instantly like whatever if it's a hat it'll put it on a model if it's a uh, um, shoes it'll put it on a model it, it doesn't matter what it is if it's an attachment of some kind it throws it on a model if it's a model itself it throws that model inside a model and then places it inside your workspace um, what you can do let's see here I'll cut this back over so that script that you saw at the very beginning, the game down, oh, sorry, down here is the little command bar. So game at there, I've already got it typed out. Nice. Actually, that's not the one that I wanted, but 
I need one four eight three seven two zero four zero nine. Enter. So if I do that, as you can see here, oh no, you can't see it. Um, cut. There we go. <laughs> so as you can see right there, um, it dropped it into the game. Now, like I said before, if we look inside workspace over here on the right-hand side, it placed it inside a model. So that model is basically just a container for it. Um, the actual hat is right here. So for example, if, uh, if my character was inside the game, here, I can go, let's just hit play, F5. Now, uh, let me make sure that you guys can see that. Oh, did you see that? It fell through the earth. It fell straight through. Darn it. Okay, stop. So let's take this and put it somewhere. Um, I did mine in replicated storage. Ooh, wait. Can I... Is this no collide? Is that what it is? Oh, no. Um, let's do move. We're going to move it up just a little bit. There we go. And F5. Does it stay in the world? No, it does not. It falls through. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this is going horribly wrong. Oh, what have I done? Okay. Um, okay. Uh, let's do this. Grab the model. Pull it down to replicated storage. And inside replicated storage. Oh, by the way, I have the copper crown, the crystal crown, and the jade crown. These are all silver, by the way. Um, you can get the gold version of these. But you have to, like I said before, get the asset ID. And there are six of them. There are three gold, there are three silver, and then there are three bronze. So doesn't matter what kind of key they are, if, if they're um, blah, 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 if they're jade or copper or crystal, doesn't matter which key, what type of crown they are on depends on where you got them. If you got them before there was any kind of nerf, which was like making the game easier, you got the gold one. If you got it in the second stage where they made it a little bit easier, you got the silver. If you got it in a like a VIP server and they made it so like easy easy, then you got the bronze. So you can always tell like who got what when. So, yeah, that's that's it. <laughs> um, okay, to um, place the objects on people, what you're going to do is move that asset, move move that object like this. Oh, sorry. Oh, you couldn't see that. Okay, basically I just commented out my uh, replicator. The one that puts the object into the world, I took that out. And now right here, this is the Dominus, I would pull this out of the model and place it inside. Well, I can do that, why not? Right here, delete the model itself. And now that's the actual like Dominus itself. I already have one that I called Dominus Replica because I don't want to get in trouble for being like, oh, he stole the Dominus. No, this one I've renamed to Dom, uh, RPO Dominus Replica, okay? So um, I have a function called give hat player. Oh, you can't see that. Man, that is, that is annoying. I am so sorry about that. So right here, give hat to player. And this is my whole function. Um, Game.player dot add or player added connect and then my function so we go oh can you guys see that here i'm gonna zoom up get rid of the free models get rid of the badges and stuff i don't need those we don't need those um but that is going to throw off the the way <laughs> the way the studio looks okay so um game dot workspace dot wait for child player dot name so basically we're waiting for the character themselves like whatever your character name is um, to be rezzed into the world. Once they are in the world, we go local where equals game dot workspace find first child player name. So we're looking for the actual object the, uh, of the, the player. Um, once we find them, um, I do a print. I don't need to do a print anymore. Let's get rid of that. And that's to print the object. We don't need that either. Uh, right here, obj equals game colon get service replicated storage uh, find first child and then the RPO dominus, dominus replica and we clone it. Okay, so we've created the object itself, but it's still not on our character. So we do um, object dot player, which is the dominus's. Oh, sorry, 
obj.parent, which is the dominus that's just out there in limbo somewhere. It's, it's in the void. Uh, it doesn't exist yet. Um, we place it on where? On the character. So I could actually call this player. That would be player. Let's call it player model. It makes more sense if we do that. Uh, player model like that. Uh, OBJ, we're going to call hat. And then hat dot parent equals player dot model. Okay, so if I hit F5, I should now have a dominus. Woo! And you can do this with different things. Uh, so, for example, if I, um, oh, again, again with the, there. Okay, cut right there. And then whenever you jump into the world, you've got the dominus, just like that. Oh, I'm sorry. I do apologize. Having to switch the, uh, the camera on and off like that really messes with me. Because you guys don't see it, and I'm like, yay! And then you're like, what is he talking about? <laughs> uh, so, yeah. You can do that with any object, by the way. Um, my headphones, we could absolutely do it with that. And um, here, I will show this to you. Inside the world itself, here's my model. This is my character. As he runs around, as, as he's inside the world. Um, if we pull that out, we can see everything that's on my character. So if I take a copy and I paste it into workspace, paste into, there he is. And he's in the same rotation and placement as where I was standing. So same thing, if I do another copy and paste, copy, and then I, I, I like move over here or something, when I paste it, it's gonna go right back in there because it's, it's the exact model as where I was. Paste into, there he is, yay. <laughs> so let's go ahead and which model well, let's kill that model right there delete this model if we left it right there he would disappear after the game's over we don't want to do that so I'm going to grab his headphones just real quick where are they headphones 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 we are looking for headphones there we go gamer headphones we're gonna copy those over copy we're going to stop the game. Uh, and now down in replicated storage, where is it? Replicated storage, right click, paste into. I now have the gamer headphones. So back over here on our script, let me turn this off, cut. On the script itself, if we change this right here to game head Oops, no capital phones. And it does have to be exact. And hit play. Now my character has head. Well, hold on. Boop. Now my character has. Oh, wait. He had headphones before. Um, yeah, that works. Because <laughs> now he should, he should actually have uh, a double set of headphones on. Uh, let's see. Code primate. Uh, no, he's only got one set of headphones on. What? Workspace script eight index null value. What? Game. Oh, I put gamer headphones. It's just game headphones. Okay, stop. Yes, I'm sure. And then play. There we go. That looks better. No errors on that one. Let's go open, not players. Let's open workspace and code primate. There we go. We have two sets of headphones. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick little tutorial. Sorry about the weirdness with the, with the script and the, the window. It, it just, it happens. I'm sorry. I apologize. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you a very soon. Outro.